look at each other and Terry says, Steve, he says, what if we bomb? What if we're just not cut out for this? Oh, so yeah. I've, thought, I've, I've thought about that, Terry, but here we are. And uh, you just keep, you keep at it. And I think it goes back to what we were talking about earlier is that, that determination, that discipline uh, to make it happen. And, and I've been satisfied with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and I really now, as I'm looking you know, back, there was, there was a reason I came out of the pastorate and uh, it's for something. And it, I, I think one of the things too, is that people think everything's going to happen overnight. Right. And the, then the other thing that I, I wanted to see what your thoughts were on was a lot of people will not try something. This is the other thing that I was talking about with some of these entrepreneurs is that fear of failure. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, it's debilitating. It keeps them from going forward. Well, wonder if I fail. Right. So how would you, you know, how would you address that? <laughs> I say fail on, man. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> you know, nothing great happens without a couple of failures. And, and for That's some right. people, thousands of failures. If you look, I mean, we've all heard the story of Oprah Winfrey, how many times she was told no before, you know, somebody discovered her or allowed her the opportunity to be who she is. You know, and look, look what she was able to accomplish, you know, because that one person believed her. And it's because she didn't allow all of those no's to stop her from finding that one yes. Right. Mm -hmm. We also, you know, we also talk about Thomas Edison and thousands of times that he that he failed, you know, at at things. And, you know, if, if people would, you know, give up because they fail, we would not have a lot of the advances in technology, Mm. you know, that we have today. And so, you know, our mentor, John Maxwell, um, you know, he says, how how can you grow if you're not willing to to fail? You know, you you never fail, you only learn, right? So I encourage people to go out there and screw things up, you know, because if we give people the opportunity and we give them the mindset of, you know what, things are not going to happen right the first Mm -hmm. time for the most part. Now, some people, it might go out, they might be able to go out there and do it right the first time. But for for, for a lot of us, it just doesn't happen that way, right? Yeah. And, and one of the other things, too, I think, you know, helps along the way is when when we fail, we need to have people around us that are are, are mentors, cheerleaders. Uh, again, remembering uh, just recently talking with a, a young, uh, actually a young pastor. And I said, what you know, what are some of the things that you didn't learn uh, in your in your training that you would love to have? And he says, I would love to have a mentor. Somebody that could just come up beside me, put their arm around me, and say, "Hey, come along." He said, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna help you." And uh, it's, it's, it's easier to fail when you have people around you who are for you, who right. are with you all the way. And these are the people that recognize, "Hey, yes, they're gonna fail, and you know, they're gonna be there to help pick you up. They're gonna be the ones that are going to cheer you along." Yeah. So. You know, to me, that's been really important in in my life to have those people to say, "Hey, listen, let's uh, let's try something else," or you know, whatever it may be. Right, right, right. You know, and you have been one of those great people for me. So oh, oh, great. I, I can't deny. I, I do think it's important that you know we have positive people in our lives that we're able to you know call upon and and share you know what is the real deal you know whether it's in our career or in our business so that way they can give us advice and and they can help us when we're down and celebrate us when times are good um you know most successful people they all have mentors so i think everybody should have mentor i think everybody should have at least two to three mentors you know i i agree <laughs> I, I agree 100 percent on that one yeah definitely <laughs> Yeah. So, you know, it, it's it's very important to surround yourself with positive people, um, people who have uh, traveled the journey that you are, you know, trying to be on. It's important to be able to understand um, how they've ha- how they have progressed. Um, and it's also important to to have someone to lean on when you need when you need that advice. So um, absolutely. You know, um, if 
you are going to go out and try to do something um, or, you know, go a different path in your career or open up a business, it is almost critical that you have someone as a mentor to walk by your side, to give you some feedback and to help you out along the way. So I completely agree with you, uh, Stephen, completely. And, and I think, you know, in, in ourselves, it helps to be positive because as, as we're being positive, uh, in the midst of difficulties, you start to attract people. They're, they're tired of the, the, uh, the negative thinking and, uh, you know, the, the things that uh, they, you know, are in our minds tend to, to gravitate towards the negative. But when somebody that comes along and is positive, they, uh, wow, I think I want to, I want to pay attention to what this person is saying. Right. So I think, you know, in, uh, in launching out on new adventures, I think it's always, helpful to have a very positive attitude towards everything, even when things aren't going right, uh, you mm-hmm. know, according to us, it's, uh, it's good to have that positive uh, attitude towards things. Absolutely. Like attracts like, you know, yeah, absolutely. Or your vibe attracts your tribe. I've heard. Yeah. Well. Oh, I love that. I haven't heard that. I love oh, that. you haven't heard that. No. Oh no. my goodness. In, in, that, in my, uh, yeah, in my nutrition company that I always hear that your vibe attracts your tribe. And yeah. I love that. Absolutely love that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, um, I used to be one of those people, Stephen, you probably won't even believe me when I tell you, but I used to suffer from stinking thinking. Really? (laughs) I wouldn't have pictured that. I wouldn't picture that with you. I know, right? And, And it's so hard to even think about, you know, those times. But, you know, I was always negative. I was so self centered. Everything was about me. Um, and so the type of people that attracted to me were those very type of people. And so uh, I remember one time I was having a conversation with a girlfriend and we were talking about, believe it or not, we were talking about dating. And I mentioned, I'm like, oh, nobody's out there. It's just liars and cheaters. And, you know, I was <laughs> just going on and on and on and on. And my girlfriend said, she said, so what does that say about you? <laughs> and I was <laughs> so mad at her right I was so mad at her but even though you know what she was trying to tell me was I really needed to take a look deep within myself to see what type of energy I was putting out because that is what I was attracting towards me and so I I made a conscious intentional effort to change what was happening on the inside of myself. And I'll talk a little bit about this, but I had to change the way I was talking and communicating with myself. And when I started to do that, I started to notice all the small wins that I had in a day, whether it was Mm -hmm. something just as, you know, small as, you know, um, just loving the pair of shoes I was in that day, because that was the biggest win I could ever, that I could think of for that day. But the simple fact that it put a smile on my face. And once I started to do that, my habit of thinking started to change. And when my habit of thinking started to change, so did the people around me. Mm. You know, it's amazing how that type of attitude can certainly affect people and uh, the way that they approach you or the way that they converse with you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it's really important if you're trying to grow your career or if you're going to be an entrepreneur, it is really difficult out here these days to be successful if you do not promote a positive attitude. Mm. Yeah, Uh, definitely. I I would agree with that a hundred percent. So one of the things is, as I'm, I'm looking over what, you, what you've said in, uh, in the form that you filled out, uh, Jani, is uh, how, how was it that you came to be this co-author of this, uh, this book, Wake Up, and uh, how to revitalize your personal and professional re- relationships? So how did that come about? Well, actually, Stephen, um, there was a group um that had actually um was a part of the john maxwell team um her name was lakeisha and she's a part of our team with john maxwell and she um had made a post of she was looking for someone to talk about you know business business relationships and you know that's kind of you know how i kind of built my success in medical sales is through you know building relationships 
And so I, I, I reached out to her and I said, hey, listen, you know, this is what I do. This is what I've done. You know, would you be, you know, interested in having me, you know, sign on as one of the co-authors? And she was, she, she liked what I had to say. And so I got the opportunity to, um, to co-author. Uh, there was four others of us um, in the book, and we all got to talk a little bit about um, relationships. Um, and, and my particular part was specifically about uh, business relationships and business leadership and things of that nature. So, you know, it's like we were saying, it's all about connecting yourself to the right positive people, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and so I would attribute, you know, that uh, just reaching out and asking if I could be a part of something and, and getting the yes. Wow. That, that reminds me of something that I, I heard a while back. The, uh, you're familiar with the Global Leadership Conference that uh, mm -hmm. uh, they put on. Uh, mm -hmm. Willow, is it Willow Lake? Um, not Willow Lake. Um, in Illinois. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've lost for words there. But anyway, so I remember one particular speaker, and uh, one the one word that really spoke out uh, was connection. He mm -hmm. says, we are failing because we do not connect with people. Right. And I think that is so important. It's uh, paramount, in fact, to uh, becoming a leader, becoming a person of influence, uh, if we're if we're not connecting with people, and uh, like somebody said, well, how come you got so many Facebook friends? Because I want to connect with people. I want to find out about people and hopefully connect, uh, you know, in some way. Because right. I do, I do want to be a person of influence. I do want to be a person that people will look to as as a mentor, as a coach, as a leader. But you have to connect with people. And again, right. that comes back to that whole uh, uh, that positive attitude. Yes. So one of the things I, I'm really interested in hearing you talk about tonight was we were talking earlier about believing in ourselves. So mm -hmm. you had mentioned about three, three ways to grow belief in ourselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, so just to, I'd like to hear you talk for a few minutes about those, those things, how those three ways to grow and believe or, or to grow belief in ourselves. Right. Okay. So, and a lot of this comes from personal experience, um, just to be as transparent as possible. And for anyone that's out there listening, uh, if I can do it, you can do it. And these are some of the steps that, you know, were told to me and that worked for me um, to help me uh, grow more belief in, in, in myself. Um, one of the things that, well, the first thing you have to do is you have to stop all the negative self-talk because the negative self-talk, it will kill you, right? Literally, it could kill your dreams. It can kill your health. It can kill your career. It can literally kill almost anything that you're trying to sprout life in. And unfortunately, it's one of those things that you will have to conquer in order for you to be successful. So, the way I like to think about it is, is, you know, I want everybody to think about like their best friend, right? Everybody has a best friend, childhood best friend, right? So imagine yourself following your best friend around, telling them how dumb they are, how stupid they are, or how unattractive they are, or, you know, just reminding them every minute of all their faults negative faults, right? That you would never do that to your best friend, right? I know I wouldn't. I love my best well, friend. Well I wouldn't I wouldn't have a best friend for very long. Right. You wouldn't, <laughs> right. You wouldn't have a best friend, right? But the reason why I say that is to make everyone realize how crazy it is that we do that to ourselves. We literally walk around telling ourselves all the negative things about ourselves. Some could possibly be true. Some, or a lot of them, probably not true. But why would we Jay, want to do that? Yeah, so I wanted to ask you that. So, Jay, do you think a lot of it is because we compare ourselves with others? 
you know, I'm not like so and so, or I'm not like so and so, or I'm not as good looking as so and so, or I don't, I'm not as articulate as so and so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we compare ourselves to others. 